For the next hour on four, the skill and grace of Britain's top gymnasts and the excitement of the fans at the British National Gymnastics Championships in Wembley Arena. To Wembley for Britain's young gymnastics fans, always something to get excited about. They're a noisy partisan bunch and this event really gives them something to cheer because for the first time the national championships sponsored by the Daily Mirror are being held here at the Wembley Arena. And this year they take on a particular significance because it's the last major event before the world championships coming up in Budapest. Well, the preliminary stages have already been held, and at the end of them, the reigning men's champion, Barry Winch, the favourite of all the noisy youngsters here, has come under quite a bit of pressure from the exciting young talent in the sport. Winch is back in third place after the compulsories. Andrew Morris, Britain's top performer in the recent European Championships, leads almost a point clear of Terry Bartlett, a former Thames TV Junior Gymnast of the Year. In the women's event, Hayley Price from the Redditch and Bromsgrove Club leads from Cathy Williams of Stretford and 14-year-old Yvette Austin, with defending champion Cheryl Weatherston back in seventh place. Well, there's absolutely no doubt where you all come from, Bush Harlow, but who are you supporting here today? Barry! That's Barry Winch, the British champion. Well, what, what's so great about Barry? Because you all work with him, don't you? Yay! Yeah. He's good in what respect? All over. All over. <laughs> what exercises, what, what piece of apparatus is he really going to star on today? Five balls. But he's lying third in the competition, isn't he? So, so is he going to win? Yeah! With your support, he can't fail. You're all, you're all gymnasts as well, aren't you? Yeah! You're really keen on the sport? Yeah! <laughs> and keen because of Barry's help, no doubt. Yeah! Some tremendous applause there for Barry Winch, the defending champion. Five-year-old from the Bush Harlow Club. He's only in third position at the moment. It's amazing how all of these men manage to keep such a good friendly atmosphere between them despite being intense rivals in situations like this they root for each other but when they get out they give their utmost to beat each other beautifully controlled balance sequence there from Barry Winch it's a long time since we've had a competition this tight at the top end and there's a mistake from him they're all feeling the pressure a relatively simple move for him Again, he's pushing right to the end of the time limit, but I think he'll be okay. And just a single twist there. Now, that didn't contain the difficulty that we normally see from Barry Winch. And Cheryl Weatherston, defending British champion. In actual fact, living in America. She travels to Britain for all the major competitions. And she's only lying in seventh place at the moment, and that really won't do her score any good at all. A bad fall on a full twisting Sukahara. Just wonder, Monica, whether she's feeling her knee while she was practicing on the asymmetric bars beforehand. She had a bit of a fall there and was sitting down on the floor nursing it for quite a long time. Quite honestly, I couldn't see how she ever got up from that fall. She's really perhaps suffering a little bit of pain, and we'll just see if she endures the competition. Terry Bartlett from Penn State,
come over from America for this competition after the first section of the competition in qualifying for these finals he's in second place he's really given a jolt to Barry Winch and Keith Langley oh but they're a pan down at least point three there not a good start for him beautiful height there though in that double twist Terry perfect proof of the fact that all gymnasts aren't tiny little muscle men very tall, elegant performer. But in such a taxing sport, quite difficult to keep his strength going to cope with his growth. And a handspring, one and a half twisting front somersault. with that finishing double tap back somersault though just that one mistake on his first double somersault Terry Bartlett obviously happy with the way things are going you know you spent quite some time training in America at Penn State how do you think you've profited from that well I'm getting maximum training and also I'm able to study a degree there so I feel that I'm getting both best of both worlds in education and gymnastics in what particular ways in the gymnastics sense do you think you've developed from America um, well, uh, it's team-oriented, and we get to work out during the day when, when you're fresh and uh, all the kits laid out, ready for you, and there's, there's no pressure. So it's very nice. Now, you've been back in this country since, what, July, training at Lillyshaw. What sort of contrast have you seen there? Well, Lillyshaw is a magnificent training center, and uh, it rates highly in the world for training, but unfortunately you can't do much else but gymnastics there. Hayley Price on her first piece of apparatus, the vault. She's the leader after the preliminary section. All these gymnasts had to qualify for these finals by competing in a preliminary competition. She's the leader. Four twist on, four twist off for Hayley Price. Nicely landed. And a great start for Hayley Price. 9.6. Amanda Harrison from... Loughton Gymnastics Club, now coached by Colin Still. A super vault from Amanda. I've seen her landed a little better, but tremendous power and shape in that Sukahara straight. Andrew Morris, last to go of the Group 1 men in this first round. The leader after the preliminaries, 14th in the European Championships, and he's seen his rivals make a lot of mistakes. Almost touched down there on that first full in back out tumble, but just kept his hands off the floor. He's come into these finals with a tremendous lead of 0.775, a lot in gymnastic terms. He knows now that his priority is not to make mistakes. Tremendous confidence in his work now. This 1983 has been a year that he'll never forget. Really has broken through to the top of British gymnastics. And that 14th place in the European Championships in Bulgaria, a mighty performance from a Western European gymnast. And lands that final double back somersault. Absolutely stone dead. In contrast to all his rivals, a tremendous starting routine from Andrew Morris. Natalie Davis, age 17 and from Cray Valley Gymnastic Club, a regular senior international. Performing a very nice straight Sukahara vault, which has a maximum degree of difficulty of 9.9 .9, and she really performed that first vault well. And Sally Lana scored 9.55 for her first vault. Very young gymnast, this tremendous potential. A very similar vault, still that uncontrolled step back. So she should come out with a similar score. 
Well, it's better than the first score. It's 9.65. Keith Langley, British champion in 1981, but struggling here. His second piece of apparatus, and he had a disastrous start on the floor. What can he do on the pommel? He's down in fourth place, and even then a little bit of drift of Andrew Morris, Terry Bartlett, and Barry Winch, the first three. Totally fluent, but gets through that high finish, over the top well. Glad to be through it. Telling himself that's better, Keith. And Hayley Price, the leader in this competition so far. She's been the leading gymnast in British women's gymnastics throughout the 82-83 season. Can she prove it by winning the title today? A near mistake, but very well controlled. There was a time I didn't think she was going to finish that routine, but she managed, and she managed well. Barry Winch, the defending champion, after one piece of apparatus, still down in third place. Good one-arm work there, moving along the horse well, traveling in the flares, little stuck as he went into the shearing movements there. The complicated stuff, back into the flares, travels down the pommel horse, and now traveling back to the handle, and then off. Through it well, a gutsy performance from Winch. <coughs> Jackie Bevan. Starting on the asymmetric bars, the second of the four disciplines for the girls. Notice the width of the bars. This really is dictated by the types of moves that the girls do. She has to travel between the bars on these long swings, that's why she has to have the gap so great. And a super routine, a really good finish, long swing into double back somersault from Jackie Bevan. And Andrew Morris, the leader in the competition so far, to the pommel horse, possibly the scourge of men's British gymnastics. Let's see if he can really do something about that. And he's going well. Now the middle part of the routine is where he's going to put in his flares and his difficulty. Andrew really showing this competitive edge he's got. He's really learned to pull it out on the big occasion and that must have kept his lead. Must have done. Really impressive. Look at the control. Barely out of breath. Eddie Van Hoof the British captain onto his third piece of apparatus in these championships, the rings. He's in fifth place at the moment. Eddie really looking in absolute peak form. He's really able to concentrate on the style and not worry about whether he's going to make movements. Now that immense power as he presses up into handstand. No trouble at all for him. And a full twisting double back to finish with. Another good piece of apparatus for Eddie Van Hoof. Lisa Young on the asymmetric bars. Lisa's now lying in eighth place. But she's a tremendously strong worker on these bars. 
17, very slight in stature, but immensely strong. That's a new combination. What a place to try out new moves in a British Championship. And the shoot front, Barani out. The only girl in the country doing that move that well. A good routine from Lisa. The women's competition at the halfway stage. Hayley Price out in front with 56.225. Amanda Harrison making good progress in second place ahead of Sally Lana and Kathy Williams. But sadly, Yvette Austin has been forced to withdraw after two events, aggravating a back injury. Keith Langley onto the rings, one of his favorite pieces of apparatus, down in fourth place at the moment, but he's only 0.25 now behind Terry Bartlett in third place. His immediate aim, obviously, to overhaul him and get some of that pride back. Keith not been out of the top three in British gymnastics for a very long time. Beautiful control there, and that Honma. He started shakily on the floor, but his pommel routine was very good, and so is that one. Just a little bit of a sidestep on landing, a little bit out of control, cost him 0.1 or 0.2, but a good exercise. Barry Winch to his third piece of apparatus, the rings. He's pulled himself with a typically gutsy performance up into second place. But he's still a long way behind Andrew Morris, the leader. The reigning champion. We can guarantee that Barry Winch will be giving it everything he doesn't let titles go easily the straddle half lever in good control all the way through this exercise yes punches the air please with that one never out of control at all Barry Winch lying second now, but you don't really take much notice of uh, the rest of the competitors, do you? No, I'm trying, obviously, just to concentrate on my own performance. Um, I had a little bit of a problem on floor. I injured my ankle in the warm-up, and I sort of struggled through an A-floor routine, uh, a bit made up. But I'm quite pleased with my score so far. Um, I've got a big job, I think, to catch up Andy, so my coach tells me. <laughs> but uh, as long as I just keep hitting the way I'm doing now, I'm really... My pommels and rings I'm very pleased with, so I've got three pieces to go like that. I should be, you know, finishing up with a chance anyway. Andrew Morris leading the competition by a mile. It's amazing to think that just two years ago when the British team went to the Moscow World Championships, he was the baby of the team and probably sixth in Britain at that time. He's come through so impressively that now he's got a 1.2 lead at the moment over Barry Winch in second place. Beautifully held cross there. Gymnastics so much about confidence and the 14th place he gained in the European Championships in Bulgaria did wonders for his confidence. He now knows he's a good gymnast. And again, not a glimmer of a mistake. Landed so solidly, he's really taking this competition by storm. Andrew Morris leading comfortably in the men's competition, but uh, how do you feel things are going? Fairly well. Um, can't get too confident at this stage, but I feel fairly confident, apart from that. What, what has been your general approach to this? What, what in particular are you aiming for? Consistency, that's all. Just get through the routines and let the others make the mistakes. Did you feel any extra pressure coming into this event with a lead? Definitely. Uh, I had a lead. But two falls and you're off, you know, that's your lead gone. 
there's a fair bit of talent grouping behind you, Barry Winch, Keith Langley, but you're not looking over your shoulder at all? Not really, no. Just formidable opponents, but I'm just there to do a job and I go through my routines then, it's up to them. After three events, the halfway stage of the men's competition, Andrew Morris of the City of Swansea leads by over a point from Barry Winch. Keith Langley has moved up into third place ahead of Terry Bartlett. So the British Championships reaching their climax will take a break and be back at Wembley in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Wembley. Andrew Morris and Hayley Price still out in front as we approach the final stages of these British Gymnastics Championships. We'll rejoin commentators John Taylor and Monica Phelps. And the cheer goes up for 14-year-old Sally Lana, all her teammates here to support her. In a fantastic position at the moment, in third place, and if she stays on this beam, she could even go higher. Hiked elephant lifter handstand, stoop through. Great shame for the British team that Sally is going to be too young still to compete in the World Championships. Up there, I think, almost bound to go into second place if she gets this routine right, because poor Amanda Harrison scored only 7.8, having come off the beam twice. But Sally, therefore, still at 14, a great future in front of her. Oh, yes, she's certainly got some tremendous potential. We just hope that she stays in the sport and continues to improve. She's got a great record on being this girl. She very rarely falls off, so let's hope I haven't spoken too soon. Point three deduction, but she didn't come off. And the super hard dismount. Well, the pressure was really on there. And she heaved a sigh of relief. Well, that must take her into second place. And now Terry Bartlett, after three rounds, he slipped down into fourth place. He's got his most difficult pieces of apparatus out of the way now and he could well get himself back up into that top three but essential that he has a really good vault here he goes well nice flight but he over rotated in a shade and had to take that step forward but held the pike position really well Liz Young pensive concentrating to try and hold this balance on her mount mount is all important to the impression it sets of the gymnast to the judges and to how much confidence it instills in the performer Side straddle jump, very difficult to spot that move. Almost a disaster. And not on a tremendously difficult move either. Although Olga Corbett introduced it years ago, hundreds of people are doing it now and She's probably quite wild with herself for wobbling on that. Arab spring, full twisting back somersault. No falls from Lisa, but she smiles because she very nearly did.
Andrew Morris about to vault. Remember, the men have only one vault. He's well in the lead. He can even, in fact, afford one big mistake. But I don't expect to see it here. Oh, that awareness of space that this man's got. Almost looking for where his feet were going to come down. And just watch how aware Morris is of exactly where he is in the air. Almost looking down there to that landing position. One of those really beautiful vaults that makes the crowd go ooh. And he's reaped the reward, 9.6. There we are, the leader in the women's competition, Haley Price. She's got a commanding lead at the moment. But I wonder whether she's thinking that the beam is the only thing that can stop her winning the championship. We've already seen the girl who was in second place, Amanda Harrison, have a complete disaster, coming off twice and scoring only 7.8. And she's made that very difficult start move onto the beam. Watching her practice it this morning, she seemed to get it right only 50% of the time, so a very brave thing to go for it. Haley's included quite a lot of new combinations in this routine since I last saw her. So she's obviously polishing them up, ready for the World Championships. Free walkover. Free... Ooh! So near, but she's still there. Sympathetic applause from the crowd. They all wowed with her as well. Well, that fall on the apparatus costs her just as much as a fall from it. She probably relaxed after fighting after the free cartwheel and just let her concentration slip. Well, she said twisting and somersault to finish with. Everything fine in the end, one fall, but she had such a margin there, she'll still be in the lead. John Reeves Haley now with uh, a pretty comfortable lead coming into the floor. What do you feel that she's got to do? Just do a nice steady floor and she'll be British champion, which will be very, very nice for her because last year she really missed out because she had to have a cartilage out and we couldn't do the kind of exercises she wanted to in the last British championships. And she finished sixth and this year I think we proved that it was the injury to her leg and uh, she'll be British champion if she does the floor correct. Carl Bynan still solidly in sixth place. Just one chance on the vault, the men remember. Oh, and again, plenty of time to concentrate on a good solid landing. Carl content to go for safety and very solid there. Keith Langley up into third place after three pieces of apparatus, but just point one ahead of Terry Bartlett. And he's already seen him score 9.55. One of his favorite pieces of apparatus, the vault, that tight one and a half somersault. And a chance to see that vault again. Langley has always good speed on the runway. Hits the springboard exactly right. And that lovely flight and holding of the pike position that step forward, but nevertheless, that tremendous flight off the box has given him a marvellous 9.6, the same as Andrew Morris. And for Amanda Harrison, who's now in seventh place, it looked like she could have had a medal, but unfortunately, she had a disaster on beam. Two falls, only seven to score. But now she's got to come back and perform like a true competitor and give her best to the very last minute. And the innovator of that move in this country, working into a double back from a whip back and a flick flack. Amanda created history in British gymnastics at the preliminary events by performing two double back somersaults in a floor routine. And there's the second. 
can land it beautifully. And a falter after a double twisting back somersault, but that was an action-packed routine full of difficulty. Well done, Amanda Harrison. After a very poor middle to the competition, she's really finished it off with style. Barry Winch onto the parallel bars. He's in second place. He hasn't really made any impression on Andrew Morris, who's also having a marvellous competition. But he's only just hanging on to that second place from Keith Langley, who's now less than point one of a mark behind him. So it's vital that he makes no mistakes. There is Diamadov turn. Oh, beautifully positive into that top planche. This work on the single bar, extra marks, much more difficult for his balances. And a pike double back, he's going for a slightly more difficult dismount and paid the penalty, those three or four steps backwards, and every point one of a mark, absolutely vital at the moment. And Lisa Young, she's had a tremendous competition today. She qualified in ninth place and now she's in third position just behind Sally Lana in second and the leader Haley Price. And with her experience and quality, it's not impossible that she could go even higher after this routine. A very good landing from that double back. That's the best we've seen so far. You can almost tell by the look on Lisa's face when she's in for the kill. Nicely directed tumble there, front somersault, walk out, flick, full twister. routine too she's very accurate not too fast moving so she doesn't have too many foot faults and wobbles she really needs a big tumble to score well yes and she has a double twisting back somersault to finish landing a little short Well, that was a really great routine from Lisa, and it could pull her even higher than her existing bronze medal position. Andrew Morris onto his fifth piece of apparatus. He's been amazingly consistent today. 9.3, 9.4, 9.4, and 9.6. Nobody else has been able to match that. He really doesn't look as if he's going to make a mistake. There are some gymnasts who are waiting for it, feeling that they're right at their limit, but not Morris. Everything right in control once again. What a solid landing. Well, only 9.05, but there's no doubt Andrew Morris is on the verge of taking the British title for the first time. Sue Cheeseborough, former British champion, girlfriend of Andrew Morris. You must be absolutely delighted with his performance today. Yes, I am. I'm very, very proud of him. He's done a tremendous job. What's been the key to it, do you think? I think personally, um, it's all due down to you know how he trains. You, you train as you intend to compete, and I think he's done exactly the same thing here today. It's proved very, you know, very successful. With all your success and experience, what sort of advice were you able to give him? 
mainly just for con go for consistency, get through your routines and the judges are going to give you good marks. He had, of course, that success in, in the Champions Cup and in the European Championships. But what does this title mean to him? An awful lot, I think. You know, it, to be British champion is really something. You can't get any, any better than British champion. You know, tremendous job. You know exactly how it feels. Isn't it? I do, yes. <laughs> Keith Langley in third place as he goes into this fifth rotation. Less than 0.1 behind Barry Winch. He's already seen him perform on the parallel bars and his score was 9.3 so Keith knows if he can get 9.4 he's up into second place beautiful form and tension and this is what top level gymnastics is all about some difficulty as well as polish Almost looks like a mistake, but that was a very difficult front somersault to land on the upper arms. Get it wrong, and not only do you lose marks, but you hurt yourself a great deal. But that's a tremendous exercise from Keith. Can he make that 9.4? No, not quite, John. It's 9.35 for Keith. Jackie Bevan, who's been known recently as Miss Consistency. Last week, she beat all of the British performers in voluntary exercises and today she's lying in fourth position a very solid double back there her weight loss must give her a feeling of extra energy on the floor because it's a tremendous stamina event to floor routine lasting for a minute and 30 seconds twister twisting not really one of Jackie's best moves but she's managed to master it over the last 12 months Another very nearly faultless performance from Jackie Bevan. She just needs to work hard on getting more difficulty into that routine now. Andrew Morris signals to the judges that he's ready to start his high bar routine. It's got to be a real disaster. He's got to come off and injure himself if he's not to become the new British champion. A lead of 1.25 over his nearest rival. The catch of safely negotiated scoops through and a very safe routine from him going absolutely punches the air he knows he's done it and he took absolutely no chances and 9.4 for Andrew that must seal the British title for him Keith Langley from Coventry Gymnastics Club onto the high bar. He knows he's just 0 0.025 of a point behind Barry Winch, who's in second place. And all these boys have been working on new high bar routines in the summer. Double one arm from Keith there. There is Kachov. Tremendous difficulty in this routine already. Pirouettes. Changes of grasp, all important, all difficult. And a double straight back, just a little step back, almost slipped under. But he actually protected it. Good performance from Keith Langley. Will it be enough? 
A delighted Jeff Langley, his father and coach. And what a score, 9.6 for Keith. He could finish second now. This tremendous spirit in the British team gonna be so important when they're competing together abroad. Andrew Morris there congratulating Keith. And Sally Lana, she's gone from fourth to third to second place. What else can she do? She really has some powerful tumbles in this routine. Only 14 years old. And with this kind of performer, nobody can afford to make a mistake. Oh, and she made that double back, even with the extra tumble in that run. An Arabian into a full twister, which has travelled across the floor on the diagonal there and lost marks. Teammate Hayley Price, who's just in the lead of Sally, will be watching this. She finished off on the difficulty, double twisting back somersault. A tremendous sport performance from 14-year-old Sally Lana. And that 9.45 ensures Sally of second place. Terry Bartlett down in fourth place, but only point. 3-5 behind Keith Langley. Now what can he pull out on the high bar? The catch of. There a full twisting one arm giant circle. Tremendous strain on the arms in those moves. Interesting double back. Tremendous routine from Bartlett. He's not going to give up. They fight for the medals until the very final moment. Barry Winch, the last competitor in the men's competition, holding on to second place at the moment. But he's already seen Keith Langley perform. And Keith Langley scored 9.6 and was only 0.025 behind him. Look at these one arms. Oh, and from a one arm into a ginger somersault. That's marvellous stuff. That really is work of the highest class, ranked with anybody in the world. And then a double twisting, double straight, double back to finish with that. Must have held him on to second place. Must have done. Langley scored 9.6, but that was so good, it must surely have scored better. Just watch this one-arm sequence from Barry Winch. One-arm giant circle with his left hand, switches to the right. One circle. Straight into another circle without touching. Really strong work, this. It's incredible, and he's still got the strength as he comes out of this to tag on the end of it. A move that's rated as a C difficulty move by itself. Look at that, the Ginga somersault, and straight on in. Oh, and his mark's just come up, a marvellous 9.8. And Hayley Price, she's dominated women's British gymnastics in 1983, and now she's about to prove that she is number one. Leading at the moment, one routine to go.
technique is so pure in her gymnastics that she makes her moves look absolutely effortless. Beautiful carriage, good shoulder line, these are all aspects of technique that the judges look for. champion after that routine it had everything it had difficulty it had grace and she coped with the pressure right to the last minute there being congratulated by her coach John Reeves now the Daily Mirror trophy will be presented to the girl winner by Mr. Don Bates Mr. Haley Frank Price receives the Daily Mirror trophy as British champion from Mr. Don Bates of the Daily Mirror tremendous competition for her and particularly pleasing to have her teammate Sally Lana there in second place with Lisa Young taking third place. Onwards now to the men. And Andrew Morris takes the Daily Mirror trophy, holds it aloft as well he might. A tremendous competition for him. He's really dominated the whole of this competition. And Barry Winch and Keith Langley, who've dominated the British gymnastics scene for the last couple of years, have to take second and third places. Andrew Morris, British champion, many congratulations. Now, what does this title mean to you? Well, it means everything, really. In British gymnastics, it's everything. It's as high as you can go in British gymnastics. Now, consistency was really the key to, to your performance here, wasn't it? Oh, definitely. I played safe this weekend. Last weekend, uh, I came away from the qualifying round with quite a good uh, average score. So I played safe this weekend. Hayley Price, many congratulations. And it's all a bit of a contrast to your fortunes this time last year, isn't it? Um, yes, everything's gone really well since then. So everything's paid off. A year ago, what, you were wrestling with the injury problems. <laughs> we didn't, did you get a bit gloomy at that time? Um, yes, but I soon picked up. And once everything was going well, it's gone on since then, really. What has been the story since then? What sort of things have you been, have you been working on technically and to improve your confidence, composure and so on? Um, really, it's competition after competition. You get more confident. Well, hopefully more confident. And everything's just gone really well. Are you the sort of competitor who gets a bit nervous before a big event? Yeah, <laughs> especially this one. Well, especially this one, because you went in with a lead. Now, that really should have made you a bit more confident, shouldn't it? Um, well, I was hoping to do a good performance on the day like I did in the previous competition and not no, lose anybody down really. So this is just a nice way of saying thank you to everybody. Now let's talk about those world championships. What what are your ambitions there? Well, my ambition is to to make the top 36 in the world, and possibly a chance of a final on each on an individual piece of apparatus. Exactly how tough is it going to be? Oh, very tough. I mean, everybody's there. You know, they all send their best team, and that you know that's the limit. What are your ambitions for the world? Mainly. To, to try and help the team get into the top 12 so we can send a team to the Olympics and hopefully um, get my FIG pin, which is a pin that says you've scored um, nine on each piece. The British men's team we're sending this year, it's not going to be bad, is it? It's a tremendous team, actually. The top four are all scoring 112 plus, and the next lot are going to be 110s, which is, which is the best team we've ever had by a long chalk. But anyway, your, your British champion, Barry Winch, has surrendered his title. Do you think that it's, it's a bit of an end of an era we've seen today? Not really. Uh, the next era will be, will be pretty good because some of the youngsters in this country now are, are tremendous. They're really good. But there's a little bit of a gap. So when they come through, you know, we'll be hitting the sky. Their final confirmation of the men's result. Andrew Morris winning from Barry Winch and Keith Langley. Terry Bartlett fourth. Eddie Van Hoof fifth. And Carl Bynan sixth. The women's competition, Haley Price wins the title from Sally Lana, Lisa Young, Jackie Bevan, Amanda Harrison and Natalie Davis.
So the national championships are living up to all expectations and sending our gymnasts on the way to the world championships in Budapest in high spirits. Our congratulations once again to Andrew Morris and Hayley Price and from us all here at the Wembley Arena, goodbye. <laughs>